Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Not sure if you remember, but the customer made the wise decision of buying the DO88 cooling hoses. Comes with no clamps, comes with no quick disconnects on the end. So, you got to cut the old ends off the old hoses, which I had to take to a shop and do because I didn't have the ability to do that here. And now I'm going to take these off and I'm going to clean the old crud residue, coolant residue off of these ends so that doesn't interfere with me getting a good seal in my new firewall junction. And then I got to clamp these new hoses onto here. So I'll probably wet those Put a clamp on them so they won't slide off. We should be good to go. So just take a little time, clean these up, put the new hose ends on there, and we should be good to go. But I gotta make sure I orientate this right. Now this hose here, I'm not sure if it's the inlet or the outlet. It's the one that plugs in the bottom. I had to put that one in the bottom. This one with this curve in it goes in the top. It reaches over top of the bottom one. That's why it's shaped like this. This one goes in the top, the short end goes in the bottom. And this is no disrespect, the DO88, the original hoses, man, they last 20, 25 years. I just go back with those. But if you wanna do a modification, this is probably the best one. There they are, folks, all cleaned off. I'ma spray them with a little blast of brake parts cleaner just to make sure there is no scotch bright material left in there, that stuff is nasty inside your system and I'm gonna get these installed if you find yourself where you don't have the old hoses with you here's a tip to get them put on right the lower hose has the sharp bend the sharp bend is what part of the hose goes on the crossover pipe and the slight bend goes up to this connection here and of course the smooth part of the connection goes into the firewall junction and the part with the catch on it goes in the hose where you could clamp it on all of the Volvo coolant they have worm clamps so I didn't want to use any other type of clamps I've seen some of those I thought about using those where you use the Oaklear clamp but you know on these cars they don't have these on coolant they have those on vacuum and PCV so I found some worm clamps off of a coolant reservoir I'm going to use those to hold these ends on these pipes here. Orientation of these ends are important because you don't want them stressed with any stress on them. You want them to kind of fall natural. So if you hold that straight away from you, it almost point exactly away from this opening. And on this one, it's kind of the same thing. You want the end to point away from the hose connection. So that should be the proper orientation of these connections. Then when you put those on, put them on tight enough so you know they won't pop off. You will barely be able to turn the end of it in there, but it should be snug where they, it just doesn't turn around in there easy. Now I always lubricate the piece that I'm pushing on there. It goes on easier, lubricate it, then I clamp it and it shouldn't leak. Don't over tighten the clamp and break the clamp. Hose is pushed on far enough to touch the, the hump right there. The clamp is tight enough so that the edges of it are flush with the hose, but not squeezing the hose so bad that it's bulging. So this is where I got both of these at. They should be good to go. See how that looks almost level. The ends don't turn easily in the end. If I grabbed it real tight, it probably could, especially because I lubricated it, and that's where I'm going with these. I got those cleaned off, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach them to the car. Here's the upper heater hose. It plugs into the side of the engine right there, and it goes under the crossover pipe, plugs into the firewall junction. This is the other hose. It plugs into this pipe right here in the middle. 
and it goes and plugs into the firewall junction. This other hose down there that plugs in next to it, you see it's got a metal pipe on the end. That's the turbo supply coolant hose. And if the clamp is orientated like that, you can often reach it from up top with a six inch quarter inch extension. You pull the turbo inlet hose, you stick a quarter inch with a six inch extension, run it under the pipe and hit the clamp right there. So that's how you get those off and on. Got those heater hoses on. They are ready to plug into the firewall. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.